What are all these numbers on my semen analysis report? I'm Dr. Dan Nayad. I'm a reproductive and endocrinology and infertility specialist. If you've ever seen your semen analysis report, there are lots of numbers. Kind of looks like an Excel sheet. We as physicians look for the big important stuff. We look at the volume, how much volume of ejaculate comes out. We look at concentration, how many millions of sperm per millimeter. We look at what we call progressive motility, what percentage of that sperm is actually moving forward as opposed to just wiggling, circling around or not moving at all. And we look at morphology, what percentage of that sperm looks normal. Now, what's defined as normal or not? So they took thousands and thousands of men around the world who have fathered a child in the last year, and they said, do you mind providing us with a semen analysis? And they took all those numbers and they plotted on a graph and they took the fifth percentile and they put that as the normal or abnormal. So what you see as quote unquote abnormal is the fifth percentile for fertile men. In medicine, very few things are black and white and most things are gray. You can certainly have an abnormal sperm result and conceive naturally. But I think it's important that you look for patterns and put it together. So if you believe that the egg quality is great and you ovulate perfectly fine, and the tubes are great and the uterus looks fantastic, but the sperm numbers are very, very low and consistent, it makes a lot of sense that the sperm quality might be the key thing for your lack of success. So we don't treat numbers, we treat clinical scenarios, but this is a little bit of an insight how to read your semen analysis.